And the question is, would you please do a tutorial on how to levitate an object in Blender? It would be awesome. Thank you so much for your channel. You're welcome, and let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so let's begin. Click anywhere to remove the splash screen and then go down to this icon here. It looks like a cube. Click on it and go to the movie clip editor. Now I'm going to press open here and I'm going to go to downloads. And if you downloaded this, it should be in that folder and it should say levitate starter footage mp4. So click on that and then open the file. Alright, so we brought this up. Now one thing we're going to have to do, as always, change this tab this mode thing right here to mask instead of track and then make a new one alright so I'm gonna name this mask cut out because that's exactly what we'll be doing here alright so now what we want to do is go ahead and find a frame where the hand is entirely um, in the frame alright hope that makes sense so yeah just find a frame like that, and that's where we're going to be begin masking. So frame 148 looks good, so just keep that in mind. But before we uh, begin masking, I want to make the start frame. I'm going to make the start frame 100. And then um, I guess we'll just start, and uh, I'll just descend, decide whenever we're going to end. So um, here's a little bit of a thing on masking. So just control and then left click. Just continue to do that. Okay. And uh, we don't really need to have too much detail here. Just keep swimming. And again, um, you could, you know, do all the fancy curve stuff. There's like curve settings. Like if I control click here and then I stretch it out, you can do something like that. That's really unnecessary here. I know that we hardly ever use those, but really it's not necessary here. So. If you want to uh, just make sure not to mess up like that, just press A once or twice until everything's selected, and then press V, go to vector. All right, so yeah, you just the goal here is just to mask around everything. So just keep Control clicking. If you want to put more points in between, just go to a line and Control click, and make sure you have this one here, and just keep going. And you'll notice that uh, this little thing was added here in this build of Blender. A uh, little dot moves the whole thing. Anyway, Control Z to undo, and then to finish it off, just press Alt C. That'll connect the two endpoints, and uh, we have a little, we have a bad one here. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Just press A once or twice until everything's selected again. V and then vector, and then boom, we have our mask. And this is how simple it really is. So uh, once you have everything selected, as you guys should know, press I, and then. Uh, yeah, we're all good. So basically the way to do this is just go uh, every 10 frames and then just adjust the mask to fit. So here on this frame, I'll just move the mask over here, down here, so, like so. And then grab uh, these points. And so all you have to do is get rid of the hand. And you don't have to get overly detailed about it. So just kind of do that. Make sure you don't cut into it though. And uh, it will look a little bit hard, but we'll fix that later. So, yep, I'm going to go over to frame 130 and then just move this aside. Or move this over there. And here, let's just go ahead and. Oh, and a f fancy way to zoom. Just press Control, hold down the middle button instead of scrolling. That's kind of a smoother way to do it, but it takes longer. So, most people just scroll. And, uh,. And to pan, you just hold down the middle mouse button, and then you just move the mouse, right? And to move these, you can either click on them like this, and just move them, or you can click on them and press G. Doesn't really matter. Now press A once or twice to everything selected, and press I. And as I make keyframes, you'll notice there's these yellow lines here to uh, kind of show that. Frame 120 now. Just move over here. 
and make sure it is all adjusted appropriately. Um, if you want to select more than one, you can box select by pressing B, or you can uh, say I don't have anything selected. You can press C and then color select. Doesn't really matter. I think it's called color select. I don't know. And press A once or twice, then press I. All right, and we're gonna go to frame 110 here and just keep swimming. So this is probably pretty dull, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, speed through this. All right, so as you can see, if I kind of scroll through this, that the mask is following and taking out the hand. So it was a bit of work, but it just gets the job done. Again, the, the goal is just to take out the hand that's taking the phone. And I decided to only do these frames here, uh, even though normally you would do it longer for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just going to do this. All right, so it's looking good. Now that we have our mask made, let's jump on over to the node editor. So click here, go to the beautiful node editor, and hit this button here. Looks like two photographs. And click use nodes. Now go to backdrop, and then we're just going to take this render layers node, and we're going to click on it and press X to delete it, and then press Shift A and go to input, and then we're going to grab our movie clip node here. And then take this drop down box and we have this option since we already have that footage in blender click on it and if we bring this into the composite node then we'll be able to render now let's get the viewer node press shift a and go to output we see our composite node here we see all these different nodes go to viewer node and uh then just connect this to this all right now it's too big just hit fit if you don't have this menu you just press n to bring it up Okay, and now this is going to get annoying once we start working, so just to avoid any confusion here, I'm just going to press shift and then draw a line, these two node strands, and it'll just connect the two. And that way, it's, this is going, whatever goes through this strand here is going to go to both the composite node and the viewer node. That way we don't have to reconnect anything later. Alright, now let's press shift A, and we're going to go to converter and get our set alpha. If you watch any of our tutorials, you know that this is how we like to mask. So press Shift A, and then go to Input, and bring in a mask. Take the drop-down box here, and then you'll see uh, our mask that we made cut out. And then bring mask uh, the mask here to the alpha, and then you can see it doing its magic. However, uh, first we need to fix the resolution in order for this to work properly. So this footage was recorded in... 1080p so it has the right resolution it just needs to be brought to 100 percent and uh, then if we refresh this it'll look just right it's the right size now but it's uh we need to invert it because we want to cut out this area not everything else so go back to the movie clip editor and this is very simple um on the side panel here if you don't have it again you just press n to bring it up just hit this and then if you go back this button right here black and white thing then if you go back to the node editor, you see that it is indeed cut out. And now we just have a little bit more work to do. So just go over to the uh, this thing again, Shift A for add. And then we're going to go to color and get our alpha over node, like so. And then just press Shift A yet again, and we're going to get an image node. This image node is going to be the backdrop for us. So I'm going to put it on top, and that will bring it to bottom. But we don't have an image right now, so we have to create it, because we want a, the background that doesn't have a hand on it or anything. So go to, like, frame zero or something like that, and uh, then we'll be able to fix this up. However, we need to get rid of the mask for this frame. So what we do is just simply uh, take the movie clip and put it in there, and boom, we're done. So now just render the image, 
and we have our image so I'm gonna go to uh, image and press save as image and I'm gonna save it to downloads like the other thing is I'm gonna name it backdrop okay so save as image and now we have it let's go back to the node editor and go to our first frame or frame 100 rather and then if we open up an image and we go to downloads and we hit backdrop we have it so um, now we have to take this whole strand right here and connect it because we took it out earlier and then boom we are done kind of um, so why is it doing this what we need to do in order to fix it is just hit convert primal and it'll get rid of that effect that uh, shows that the mask isn't working so if you hit convert primal then it works beautifully and if I kind of jump through here you can see that more or less the effect is getting done rather well but on some areas, the masking is not quite perfect. So if I uh, just zoom in here, you see, you know, the edge is really hard here. And it's inconsistent with the footage. So what we can do to fix that is my favorite method of doing this. There's another way of doing this, but it's, you know, it's unnecessary for this effect. Press, press Shift A and then go to Filter, Blur. And then just put it in between these and bring the X up to 7 and the Y up to 7 and then that's just going to give us a nice blurry edge so if I zoom in again here it looks like it's actually uh, floating in the footage doesn't look like we cut something out it looks a lot better it's not quite perfect but with more tweaking if you're not doing this for a tutorial you could do a pretty good job now I noticed that our mask has a flaw here so I'm gonna go in to uh, the movie clip editor briefly and I'm gonna fix it so this is on frame 210 so I'll frame 2.9 is where we have a keyframe here. That looks good. Let's go over to frame 2.15, and that one looks good. So that just means we need to create one in between and adjust this to where it actually fits. And uh, it'll look beautiful. So I'm just press I here, and we fix that problem. So if you don't like the way it looks in between, you can always adjust it. And uh, it might not look perfect, but it looks pretty good. Looks like it's levitating. So, guess what? We're pretty much done. Now, just for the output, make a folder. I'm going to bring it to downloads, and I'm going to name it Levitating Mo Levitating Cell Phone. All right. So, accept. And then I'm just going to uh, change this from PNG, obviously, to a uh, movie format, H.264, and the encoding. Uh, I don't want to add any audio, so I'm not going to change that. And I'm just going to leave it as an AVI just to keep that quality. And uh, then just hit animation here, and it will render out our animation. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, give some feedback, and do what that, that other guy said. If you have a request, leave a comment. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you guys later.